So it's summertime here in Oklahoma City, but you don't know what to do with these long sunny days. Never fear, I've put a whole list together of must sees and must do's for your summers here in OKC. Better get your floaties cause we're getting started. Thanks so much for joining us for this one. You know, I've never been shy about the fact that Oklahoma is in fact a four season state. Not because we have those hotels, which we don't, but because you can distinctly tell the difference between spring, summer, fall, and winter here in Oklahoma. But today we're talking about summer, which lasts from around late May to early September. During this time, the average temperature sits right around 85 degrees, but we are gonna get some temperatures in the 100s every year for a couple of weeks, so just be prepared. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a ton of options so that you and the fam can have fun and stay cool, just like me. But before we get into that, if you're thinking of moving to the Oklahoma City area, whether that's in the next few weeks or few months from now, I would absolutely love the opportunity to help make a smooth move right here to OKC. You're gonna find my contact information in the description below, so please feel free to shoot me a call, a text, or an email, or even better, click the link below to schedule a one-on-one -on -one video call with me so we can discuss how I can help you buy that perfect home here in OKC. Now, let's talk about summer fun. Here in OKC during the summer, you may be tempted to sit inside and soak up that AC, but then you'd miss out on all the outdoor activities. In my opinion, the summer is one of the very best times to get out and check out one of the many beautiful parks we have here in Oklahoma City. For example, Mitch Park in Edmond, Oklahoma is a great place to go get your summer on. It's got two playgrounds, a disc golf course, two basketball courts, and even a skate park. They also have walking trails, and there's even a stage that they occasionally host live events. Scissor Tail Park is one of downtown Oklahoma City's newest parks and it's definitely a must see. They've got some really incredible playgrounds and even a play pavilion for the kiddos. There's also paddle boat rentals so you can actually get out on the water that's inside the park. There's interactive splash pads that once again the kids really love and there's a really great farmer's market where you can find fresh locally sourced produce. All of this while you're enjoying the downtown Oklahoma City skyline. And while you're downtown you might as well check out the Myriad Botanical Gardens and hitch a ride on the streetcar. Now, it's been a while, but I actually made a really cool video about some of my favorite Oklahoma City parks, so I'll leave a link in the description below. Okay, Oklahoma is about as landlocked as you can get. So, sure, that means no saltwater fun, but it also means no sharks. But don't worry, we make up for the lack of coastline with a really strong lake culture, and boy, do we have some beautiful lakes here in Oklahoma. You can hop in your car and head over to Arcadia Lake or down to Thunderbird Lake. Both are just a quick drive here in the OKC Metro. But if you're up for a little bit of a longer journey, why not check out Lake Texoma or Lake Eufaula? Eufaula has over 100,000 acres, making it the largest lake here in Oklahoma. Of course, pretty much all of our lakes are great for camping, fishing, and hiking, and some are even ideal for swimming too. Too. Personally, living here in Northwest Oklahoma City, I'm a big fan of Lake Hefner, which is great for running, biking, rollerblading, or even a casual walk while you enjoy their beautiful sunsets. And it's just right here in the city too. But if you're looking to get out on the water with a little less actual activity and a little more adult beverages, you can always go float the Illinois River. After all, you don't want to waste those precious calories <laughs> moving, do you? Now, if you're looking for water-based fun without all the wildlife, I definitely recommend heading over to Six Flags Hurricane Harbor. This is a world-class water park that will certainly keep you cool and entertained with thrilling rides, a wave pool, and a lazy river. On those 100 plus days here in Oklahoma City, trust me, this is a great way to get out and beat the heat with friends and family. And seriously, they've got a ton of slides there, one of which is like seven stories tall. It turns out it's impossible not to have fun even when you're flipping your inner tube. So I've heard. Did you know that Oklahoma City has one of the best zoos in the country? Well, probably not. That's what I'm here for. Thank you very much. The OKC Zoo is actually one of the largest and most popular attractions here in the state, featuring 1,900 different species. And they've got all of the big animals like lions, bears. I feel like there's something I'm missing. Oh yeah, oh shit. it's more like it. If you're new here, you definitely need to check out the Oklahoma Trail section, which features animals that are native here to Oklahoma, including black bears and mountain lions. FYI, the zoo isn't just for kids. And yes, I am still collecting wax animals from that mold matic Don't come at me. The zoo is a great place to learn about animals, but if you're interested in learning about literally anything else, there are a ton of museums spread out across Oklahoma City. The best part, most of them are air conditioned. My favorite is probably the Oklahoma Science Museum, which has loads of interactive exhibits, a planetarium, and plenty of activities for kids of all ages. The American Banjo Museum is super unique and is stocked with all kinds of 
well, you guessed it, banjos. And if you're interested in Oklahoma heritage, make sure to check out the National Cowboy and Western Heritage Museum. This place features a crazy collection of classic and contemporary Western art, as well as a whole turn of the century town. This is cowboy culture at its finest. You can almost smell the rawhide. What was that? Oh God. Now, if you moved here from the Northeast, it's probably time that you learn that here in Oklahoma, barbecue is something you eat, not something you do. Now, I know there are a lot of barbecue states out there, but Oklahoma is a pretty big barbecue state. And here in OKC, there are some great places to go get your hands on some steer and hog. George's Happy Hog is a great little low key barbecue joint located near the capital with great quality and prices. Some other popular places you should check out are Edgecraft, Iron Star Barbecue, and people rave about Ray's Barbecue in Moore and Norman. Now, if you've never had Oklahoma barbecue, you should know that it's more known for what it isn't than what it is. For instance, it's not really exclusive to any one kind of meat. The sauce isn't as vinegary as some, but not as saucy as others. Oklahoma barbecue is all about balance. Look, we don't claim to have the best barbecue in the country, but that's mostly because we're too polite to admit it, but not too polite to tell you about that barbecue sauce on your lip. Yeah, right there. Uh, other side. Got it. Best part about summer in OKC is that there are a ton of cool events to go to. A quick walk downtown and you'll see enough flyers and posters to pretty much plan out every day June through August. A couple of my favorites have been the Chuck Wagon Festival and the Paseo Arts Festival. As the name implies, that one takes place in the Paseo Arts District. I also recommend the Plaza District on second Fridays for their monthly art walks. Other than that, you can definitely just check out the restaurants and bars throughout Midtown and Bricktown who seem to always be having different events. And if you want some breathtaking views of downtown Town, Oklahoma City, take a ride on the Ferris wheel in the Wheeler District. In my opinion, it's one of the best places to watch the sunset. And if you're looking for live music during the summer, there's probably no better place than the Zoo Amphitheater. Is there anything better than watching your favorite bands under the open sky? And we've hosted some big names out there at the zoo, including Vince Gill, the Isley Brothers, Ice Cube, and some other Oklahoma favorites like the Flaming Lips and even Toby Keith, rest in peace. Every third Saturday from March through October, you should definitely head over to Edmond for Herd on Herd. This is essentially a giant street festival with live music, a ton of food trucks, and an array of local vendors. It's really a great way to soak up the Edmund culture and just have a great time with friends and family. And seriously, there's usually about 30 food trucks there, so you can pretty much try something new every time you go. What's that? I didn't say anything. You have a hankering for some all-American fun? No problem. Head over to Bricktown and watch America's favorite pastime and check out an Oklahoma City Dodgers game. Our minor league baseball team plays about 75 games per season and tickets are really quite affordable. It's great for a family night or even a date night, especially if your date likes beer and corn dogs. I'm looking at you, Carly Corn Dogs. I still don't know why she hates that name so much. Okay, we've covered a lot in this video, but there's one more OKC landmark that I highly recommend for summer, and that is Riversport Adventure Park. This is essentially a giant water playground located right along the Oklahoma River. Here you can go kayaking, whitewater rafting, and even zip lining. You can even try surfing. No, I'm serious. Take that, California. And if you don't feel like getting wet, the park also has the world's tallest adventure course, the 80-foot Sand Ridge Sky Trail. And additionally, there's a cloud bounce and a kid's zip line. And don't worry, if this is all new to you, they give lessons as well. There's even a summer camp option. Seriously, all very cool, and you should check it out. So you've decided that OKC does in fact have some fun things to do here, but now you want to know why some people say they would never move here. Well, in that case, you should definitely check out this video right here. And as always, guys, until next time, I certainly hope to OK. See you soon. See ya.